Yes, praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, why not we hear some testimony in this 15 minutes? Uh, anybody from here who want to share your testimony? Doctor, why don't you share? Come. You wanted to tell that? You came running, man, to grab the mic. <laughs> Can you see? I now understand why the Lord told me to stop. This man must have been saying, God, stop him. God, stop him. God, stop him that I get a chance to speak. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Uh, I'm uh, I'm Jaker. I'm from Chennai. Um, from the time uh, uh, brother started, uh, I was thinking I should I should you know he's talking so much. All these things uh, uh, I have seen. I have I know God has done so many things in my life. Uh, I have to I have to tell I have to tell this. Um, um, <clears throat> where do I start? There's so many things God has done uh, uh, in my life. Um, you know, I will start uh, with, with the first thing. Um, uh, three days, uh, uh, God, God led me to a, a retreat in Bangalore, uh, Holy Ghost Church, Richardstown, um, in Bangalore. A brother was um, uh, was ministering there. Uh, the first day, when I went there, I, I really didn't know why I was there. And uh, the, as uh, the word of God uh, started uh, uh, was was being given, I started crying, crying, crying. Even before it started, I was uh, I would go, you know, a perfect doctor. I would say, uh, Hi, uh, I'm Doctor Jake. I am. I'm so and so. I am from there because I saw very young people there, kids there, uh, and I thought, uh, you know, I'm a doctor. I should. Uh, it was a youth meeting. I was wondering what am I doing there as well. And um, as the word uh, began to sink in, I started crying, crying, crying. I did not know why. Uh, it, it was so amazing. Each word was uh, was was getting in uh, to my heart. And uh, the second day, uh, I did not know uh, what was happening. When people would come and introduce myself, I would just grab them and then, you know, give them a hug. Everybody. So people started telling me, uh, you know what, when they finished, you know, people were telling me, the first time you were behaving like the, the rod doctor, hi, hi, hi. And then the second day when, then, when then the Lord's love experienced God's love, I was just hugging people. It's amazing how God's love changes uh, people. That's exactly how it changed me. Okay, I'll start with that. Okay, number one. Um, a brother was talking about uh, sowing and reaping. What you what you sow, with uh, with what measure you uh, you sow, with the same measure, uh, you know you will reap. Men will pour into your bosom with the same measure. Um, at uh, Nagarkoil we had a retreat, um, and I was uh, I was hungering for the word, so I had come to Nagarkoil, and uh, I read, uh, I met uh, brother Maxwell here for the first time, and uh, he said. Uh, 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 Dr. John introduced me and he said, the, Brother Maxwell. And Brother Maxwell says, um, are you s stealing my money? Asks the Lord. I mean, this is, a f this is the first time I'm meeting Brother Maxwell and he says, are you stealing my uh, money? Asks the Lord. And he went on to explain um, that he was in Chennai, he was de uh, watching Daystar in Malachi, God says this. But then I knew God was speaking to me. So I said, let's see. Because there in Malachi, God uh, challenges. He says, um, put me test and see that I am the Lord. See if I don't open up the uh, heavens and pour out uh, the rain in season. I tried it. I started testing. Let me see. I started sowing. I am in Chennai. I am I'm sowing in Chennai. I am thinking I will get, I will reap in Chennai as well. So I am thinking I am sowing and I am thinking, um, okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see where I am going to re uh, reap. Um, brothers, God is so amazing. Um, I was just waiting on the Lord. I was just meditating on His word. God took me to Nigeria. Nigeria was four hours uh, to Dubai and another eight hours from there. He took me uh, eight plus four, twelve hours away from Chennai and He gave me all the reaping there. What I was sowing in Chennai for the Lord, God gave me the harvest in Nigeria. Amazing, the, 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 um, the watch I have, the mobile phone I have, all of them was what God gave me. I tell you, the, what, what really blew my mind is God is so amazing, He's so much big that what we can even think of. Just like wa what brother said, uh, I, I sometimes put him inside a hut. I'm thinking my ceiling is, is, is what God is. But when you go out, I understand God is so big. Four, 12 last away from Chennai, God is still the God of, of, of us. I realized there, 
I was different from nations. We are in a, I was in a different nation. People were different. Everybody was different. But I understood in Christ, I was a brother and sister in Christ. It was so amazing. There is no divisions in, uh, in anything. The division is made by the evil one to separate us. There are so many divisions. The world is divided by nations. Everything else, you know, you, you, you know, I can call myself a Christian and immediately say, Hey, brother, which denomination are you from? No, brother, division. In Proverbs, there's a verse which says, uh, A kingdom which is divided against itself will fall. Once you receive, once you receive Christ, you are born again into a kingdom. You don't follow, not that you don't follow the nation uh, uh, principle, but you follow, start following a kingdom principle. You following the King of Kings. We follow the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. When you do that, there are no more. We are no more restricted by a heart. We worship an amazing God, amazing God, a life-changing God, and um, like Brother said. Um, a supernatural God. When we believe uh, on those super things, we'll understand God does supernatural things in our lives, in us, through us. And that same God dwells in us. What an amazing thing. Brother, thank you. Thanks, thanks, thank you. How do you find this doctor jumping, jumping, jumping? I wonder when he's doing his uh, job over there and a patient comes, he must be jumping, jumping, jumping and <laughs> getting the job done. Huh? Praise God. You know, that's called bubbling in the Lord. Hallelujah. I, I, I'll give you one, one uh, testimony so that the brother will... Uh, he was there. He was a witness. We were having a retreat over there for the youth and it was night about 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock and suddenly a bat came into the room. And all these youth were looking at the bat and they were literally scared in Bangalore. And I told them, how many of you can see the bat? Everybody's hand went up. And I said, you know what? I made a prayer and I can see no more bat. Because Jesus said, if you have a, a faith as a mustard seed, you can see to the mulberry tree, come on, be lifted up and be thrown into the sea and it shall obey you. So, hey bat, I'm talking to you. Get out of this place in Jesus' name. And listen, you have no option but to obey me. Thank you, Lord. And I continue to pray and I continue to preach. The bat was still moving. And I said, how many of you can see the bat? Again, everybody's hand went up. And you know what I said? I don't see because when I made that prayer, I believe because Jesus said, whatever you ask in prayer, first believe you have received and then it shall be yours. So, I believe, Lord, the bat is gone. And then, because I believe it's gone, it shall go. Right? So I began to thank God and I continued to preach. And after about two minutes, the Lord said, where's the bat? So I asked the youngsters, hey, where's the bat? And they said, it's gone. Hey, hey, hey. They began to laugh. They hardly finished laughing. A bat, five times bigger than the previous one, entered the room. And now, they were all looking. And, they, and I said, you know what? The devil is a liar. Here comes another one to break your faith. Now, if the small bat went when you opened your mouth and spoke the word, what about this one? And we made a prayer again and the bat was gone. Hallelujah. On the last day of the retreat, there was a girl whose fingers were, uh, she was about 18 to 20 years old, suffering from arthritis. Her fingers had already become this way. And now, by teaching them on faith for three days, Okay, from morning till late night till midnight, I would be teaching. Sometimes even up to one o'clock. Okay, and I and I said, come on, let's make a prayer. And let me tell you, when the youth come on fire, they will not leave till they want to see the miracle. They went on and on and on praying for that girl. And right before our eyes, we saw the hands open up and she was healed. And that was the first time doctor had come over there and he was bombarded with God's word. By the time he left, his mind, his stronghold of uh, believing in the sense knowledge truth was totally destroyed. He began to allow the word of God to govern his life and that changed his future. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Please write down then we will study. The first kind of truth is truth please write on the first kind of truth is a truth the first kind of truth is a truth 
that comes from God's word. The first kind of truth is the truth that comes from God's word. The walk of faith The walk of faith Please write quickly Don't forget about your handwriting Write quickly The walk of faith Is based The walk of faith is based On the truth The walk of faith is based on the truth of God's word On God's word Faith is a practical expression Faith is a practical expression Faith is a practical expression Of your confidence Of your confidence In God And His word Faith is a practical expression of your confidence In God and His word No word, no faith Please write it in capital No word, no faith No word of God, no faith The second kind of truth The second kind of truth Is sense knowledge truth The second kind of truth is sense knowledge truth Or truth or truth based on your physical senses the second kind of truth is sense knowledge truth or truth based on your physical senses walking by your physical senses walking by your physical senses is based is based on sense knowledge truth is based on sense knowledge truth next whatever you embrace whatever you embrace as your truth whatever you embrace as your truth determines whatever you embrace as your truth determines your destiny Whatever you embrace as your truth determines your destiny. You have to decide. You have to decide. You have to decide which truth. You have to decide which truth will govern your life. Which truth will govern your life. You have a choice You have a choice To either To either be governed You have a choice to either be governed By sense knowledge truth You have a choice to either be governed by sense knowledge truth Or truth of God's word To either be governed by sense knowledge truth or truth of God's word The decision to follow God's word The decision to follow God's word Must be solidified The decision to follow God's word Must be solidified before the battle The decision to follow God's word Must be solidified before the battle Believers must be governed by faith Believers must be governed by faith Or the truth Or the truth of God's word Or the truth of God's word And not And not Sense, knowledge, truth Believers must be governed by faith or the truth of God's word And not sense, knowledge, truth 2 Corinthians 5, 7 2 Corinthians 5, 7 
Sense knowledge truth is a fact. Sense knowledge truth is a fact. But God's word but God's word is truth. Example it may be a fact 